people would call up and ask for stock picks. But before they would ask my guest, buy, sell, or hold, they would say to me things like, Maria, congratulations on the baby. You know, you're having a baby. You're pregnant. I've never been pregnant. You know, I mean, I, I, I must have gained five or ten pounds or something. <laughs> and it, it's mortifying. To be successful, you have to love what you do. You have to wake up with a fire in your belly and just want to go at it. That's the only way you'll be able to work really hard at it. And I had found what I was good at and what I loved doing, and that was being in the field, interviewing people people, meeting people. I recognize as a reporter that everybody has an agenda. I have an agenda. My agenda is to get the best interview, break news, have it first, make sure that I have the top interview and the best content that we can have. Um, the other person at the other side of the table has an agenda. They want to get their message out. I get that and I understand that, but I am not going to do it to the detriment at the, of the viewer. If a person is not answering the question, I will definitely ask you again. I will ask you a third time. It will be clear to the viewer that I'm asking the questions and it, that it's you who's evading them. I don't think a person wants to put themselves in that situation.